Hello crafters. Welcome back to Simply Charlie's where new crafters love to hang out. Look at what we're going to make today. This is a beginner friendly project. Looky, looky. See how pretty that is? Oh, I hope the camera is doing it justice. This is a rose. So beautiful. Okay, what we need to make it. First thing, we need a soap base. I'm using a clear glycerin soap. You can get that at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Amazon. You need a scale, a thermometer, measuring spoon, some color, a spatula to stir, a container to melt your soap base in, fragrance oil, alcohol to pop the bubbles once you pour the soap. You know I love glitter and a mold. Now I've already um, chopped up my glycerin soap. Each, each one of these cavities in this particular mold holds two and a half ounces and I'm just going to make two. So I've, I've chopped up five ounces of uh, clear glycerin soap. I'm going to pour it in my container and pop it in the microwave for a 30 second blast until it's melted. So are you like me and you decided since you've been locked up because of everything that's going on in the world that you love to create things? My passion is soap, but I, I found out that I like to do other things too, like make jewelry. I'm sorry I have to get off the camera, but I have to keep an eye on, my, on this melting. I set it for 30 seconds. And I'm going to set it for another 30 seconds. You want to do it at 30 second blast, especially when you have such a small amount. Okay. This uh, thermometer, it's a nice to have, but you don't have to have this particular type of uh, thermometer. You can get one of those candy thermometers from uh, Walmart. So, it's all melted. Ooh, it's really hot. Let's see what temperature it is. It's at 180, 178, so I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. You don't want to um, add your fragrance oil into your soap base before it get before it cools down to uh, 175 is probably safe. The color, on the other hand, you can go ahead and add. And for this baby rose, I'm just gonna add some red, and you decide how much or how little you want to add. I want a pretty deep rose, and it won't take a whole lot of color for this little bit of soap. Okay, so we got it nice and red. And what I like to do is sit it on top of something white so that I can really see what the color is looking like. Okay. All right, the temperature is down to 163, just that quick, just by adding, um, just by adding the, the color. So now I'm going to add my fragrance. And this is a half teaspoon. You decide, you know, what smells good to you. But I'm thinking a half teaspoon in this. Small. Oh, that smells so good. If you love roses. Yes, yes, yes. That smells good. Okay. 
Got it all stirred up, smelling all good. Let's bring in the mold. Okay. And we're gonna pour. And like I said, it's, uh, each cavity is about two and a half ounces. And I heat it five ounces, so that's perfect. And I, you probably can't see the uh, bubbles, but there are little bubbles on top, and that's what the rubbing alcohol is for. Okay, so this is done. How easy was that? All you have to do is wait for this to set. And once it's set, this is what this particular one looks like. We got cut off, but I'm back. All we need to do is add some glitter. And we're done. Oh, glitter makes everything beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. And there you have it. Bye, guys. See you next time.